Now that we've seen how to represent text data in our database, let's move on to the representation of numeric data. Imagine we are creating a database for a local retail clothing store. We will likely be interested in having a representation for that store's employees. We can store details about the store's employees in a table named employee as part of a people schema. A definition of the table is included here with some basic columns for the employees. What if we wanted to also track the number of sales generated by an employee? This can be done by including a num underscore sales column when creating the employee table. We do not anticipate or awarding half of a sale to an employee, so a discrete value is appropriate here. PostgreSQL provides other options for representing discrete numerical values which differ in the size of the, of the range of values which each type can represent. The small int type would be useful in the case that we wanted to store a person's age in whole numbers due to the small range of possible values. We used the integer type previously to represent the number of sales in our employee table. The integer type would also be appropriate for a table column representing the population of large cities. The big int type could be used to represent the number of credit card transactions processed in a year for Visa or MasterCard. Serial is a positive integer type that increments by one each time a new record is added to a table, making it a good choice for representing primary keys. The big serial type would be a good choice for a table tracking NYC subway rides in a given year, assigning a unique ID to each trip taken. Floating point, aka decimal value columns, are also available in PostgreSQL. Let's revisit the employee table from earlier in this lesson. If we wanted to track the salary of each employee, we can use the decimal type to represent salary data in our table. The decimal type can take two arguments, precision and scale. Precision is the total number of digits in the number before and after the decimal point. Scale is the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. In this table, we limit the column entries to eight digits of precision and two digits of scale. This assumes we won't have anyone making $1 million or more at our small shop. The decimal and numeric types are interchangeable. These types allow for a wide range of ploning plate values to be stored in a table, as can be seen based on the range description. The real type guarantees six decimals of precision. The double precision type is similar, but guarantees 15 digits of precision. Real and double precision are best suited for columns where it is desirable to reduce storage space and it is okay that the number that is inserted into the database is not exactly equal to the number that is returned by a query. Use numeric or decimal in most cases. Now it's your turn to think through scenarios and determine the best numeric type to use based on the data which you would like to represent in your database.